Welcome back to Morning Break and another episode of Reading Reno. Today we have got author Janice Oberding. She's the writer of Amazing Nevada. She's joining us to tell us about her book. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Katie. Now one of the things that I love learning about your story is that you are a lifelong Nevada resident and that you love your home state. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the things you love about the Silver State. Well, I love because I consider it well, the best state, of course, but it's very <laughs> unique. I mean, we have things here in Nevada that other states don't have. I think our, the people, I believe the people make up the state, and I think we have a diverse community of people, um, wonderful people in our state. Yeah, and so you were telling me that your career kind of started in the gaming industry, yes. and then you got into writing a little bit later yes. in life. What kind of drew you to writing in the first place? I just enjoyed it. <laughs> well, that's a good reason to start, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What were you writing um, to start off with? Well, I started off with um, the paranormal, ghost, and because I've always been interested in mm -hmm. ghost and the paranormal and history, they go together. And nobody was, at that time, nobody was writing about Nevada's ghost and history and putting a tie. <laughs> so I thought, well, I may as well do it. Yeah. So you kind of have, like, always been a very eclectic writer. But now you've got this book called Amazing Nevada, yes. where you've really focused in on some of those um, curiosities, some of those amazing stories, probably some paranormal activity uh, stories about Nevada. What are some of the stories that you really liked learning about for your book? Well, I, I like the Edna Purviant story because I've always been a fan of of the old movies of film noir and also the silence and uh, discovering that Charlie Chaplin's his leading lady, <laughs> his early day leading lady, was actually born and raised in Nevada. Oh. I thought, well, that's still a little known fact here. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed that, the early filmmaking and um, just different things like that. Yeah, and what I think is really cool is that you've lived in Nevada your whole life, and I'm sure writing this book, even you were still discovering things that you'd never learned about the state yeah, before. Yes, and, and my mom lives in Vegas, so fortunately I was lucky <laughs> that she and my dad would took me to some places like the Painted Rocks, the mm -hmm. Seven sacred mountains and every time something new and exciting would come to Vegas she'd say you've got to come and see it so <laughs> yeah I was fortunate on that yeah so this is a really a great book for people mm -hmm. who have lived in Nevada their whole lives maybe they love Nevada maybe yes. they have never even been to our state this is a way to kind of get them hooked yes. on why this is an amazing yes. state we're not a pass-through state mm -hmm. like we were in the very beginning of our state history. People just came right on through because we didn't have a lot of resources at the time. Yeah. But we have a lot of resources. We have a lot of wonderful things to keep <laughs> people here. Yeah, we really do. So you told us a little bit about your love of like the film history here of mm -hmm. Nevada. Was there any paranormal stories that you really loved being able to capture in the book? Well, I re Virginia City oh. because Virginia <laughs> City is, in my opinion, the most haunted city in the whole country, yes. and certainly Nevada. And it's a new, unique history, too. Mm -hmm. So writing about the history of Virginia City and some of the ghosts up there was fun for me. Yeah, that's wonderful. And these are really short stories. There's nothing too too long or rigorous about them. And so it's kind of the perfect, I would say almost like the perfect gift to give maybe somebody for the holidays. Yes. Just yes. to be like, hey, <laughs> this is a great book to keep on your mantle, to keep on your table. I love bathroom books. Mm -hmm. I know that's probably really <laughs> weird, but I love books that I can just sit there and read a quick story story doing and stuff and that's what this is it's just like educational it's fun it's fascinating mm -hmm. and I love that you were you added the word curiosities yes. into the title because that is such a fun word to say yes, it is. <laughs> yes yeah, it is. I love it well Janice where can people get your book and where can people find more information about you okay well more information I'm on Facebook mm -hmm. I'm on uh, TikTok oh. Instagram I'm not even on TikTok <laughs> Janice that's amazing um, <laughs> So, and YouTube, starting okay. YouTube, and um, the books at Barnes and Noble, Amazon, and if they're in Virginia City, at the Right Stuff Antiques in the Virginia City Mall. Oh, well, perfect. Well, I'm going to make sure that all of the links to your social media, to your website, and of course, where you can go ahead and buy Amazing Nevada will be on our website, colotv.com. So, Janice, thank you so much for being here and sharing your passion with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Katie. I all appreciate right. you having me. Thank here. you, and thank you guys for watching. We'll be right back.